All right, so I've had this for about a month or a month and a half, and um, I, I guess we should open it. Let's get started. What's going on guys, Road Jedi Patrol back with another video today. We're gonna be unboxing my Stan Lee from Thor Ragnarok. If you don't know, Thor Ragnarok is my all-time favorite Marvel movie. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Thor, Loki, Hela, Valkyrie, Hot Toys for the love of God, give us a Valkyrie. The uh, the Scrapper Valkyrie, and then the, the, the Valkyrie Valkyrie, the Hero Valkyrie, that would be amazing. Super want her. So uh, you've already like created her, teased her, you haven't released her, so there's that. We need to make that happen. If you agree with me, hit the thumbs up button, let me know. Uh, but I've got this figure, I actually picked it up. Uh, like I said, it's been a while. But I have actually a special reason for unboxing this. So you might want to stick around to the end of the video. There might be something in it for you. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. It does come with this giant clamshell. There's gonna be glare and stuff going on, so bear with me on that. Um, I have never unboxed this, clearly, because it's still got all the plastic stuff on it. But there it is. Come to this giant clamshell. We got Sideshow exclusive right there. We've got We've got our buddy Stan right there looking all happy, and it's just, it's pretty cool. Not my favorite packaging for storage purposes, but uh, you know, they didn't really. They, they did this with the um, the Spaceman Stanley, right? And uh, that was the first time we saw that, and uh, now we've got it back for this one. So maybe we'll get some other versions of Stanley. If you guys have a favorite in mind or something you'd like to see them make. Uh, let me know down below. I, I think personally I would like to see the um, I, I'm, Any of them any of them honestly. I just just make them all We'll pick them up. Let's see if we can unbox or unclip. Let's not even unbox. This is an unclam shelling uh, Let's see if, how, how loud this is gonna be. I might even cut it out. We'll see. Oh That wasn't bad at all That wasn't terrible. Oh, it's one more piece of tape. If you have a favorite line from Thor Ragnarok, definitely let me know. Uh, I have I have one uh, for sure from Scourge, which I'd love to see a Scourge six scale figure as well. Uh, but I love it when he goes into it, he's like showing off to all the, the ladies and he goes, behold, my stuff. <laughs> I just, I freaking love that. Uh, so it looks like we have a box of accessories and whatnot, so that's cool. Uh, we've got Stan in another clamshell, so we got that going on. We got this backdrop, which I definitely will not be taking out of the... Well, I guess it's technically already out, but there it is if you want to see it in all its glory of, of the car. It's, um... Yeah, it's that. I don't know. It's, gonna, it's not something I'm going to use. You guys know my thoughts on these kind of things, but it's nice for the packaging material, I guess. So we'll get you out of here. You're on the floor. You're out of here. Actually... No, 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 I might use that. On the floor. What do we got in here? This Is, is there anything in here? It's just a, a box. I don't know. It's a freaking empty box to put Stan Lee in. What a ridiculous packaging. Like, what the, what's? Come on, Hot Toys. You know how much cheaper it would have been to ship this? Right there. That. Versus this giant clamshell thing. I don't I don't understand that move. That's a weird move on their part, but anyways. There you go. MMS 570 six scale figure. And this is a I, I'm actually somewhat excited for this. I like I like the box art, it's kinda nice. Uh, it's basic and I'm fine with that. I I don't know. It took me so long to buy this figure. And then I did. So maybe I'll get to it and I'll be like, man, I wish I should have unboxed this a long time ago. So we'll see. Oh, we got two clamshells. We got we got some accessories. We got a figure. We got some glasses. Gotta have those. Let's see what all he comes with. It's been so long since I've looked at like promo photos for this. I don't even know what he comes with. Yay! <laughs> all right, we get a base. That's a good looking base. This is totally different than the other ones we got. And color-wise, uh, for Thor and Hela, Loki, and whatever, they were more green. This one's definitely bright yellow, neon green. Some orange stuff on there. Barber Stan Lee. There you go. Barber Stan Lee. So that's not bad. A little crotch grabber deal. I have a display idea for this, which is going to uh, require 
an accessory. So we'll, we'll anyways, we'll see. That's another video. I have a follow-up video coming up on this, so just stay tuned. All right, so we got some, uh, we got some, a, a claw to chop off some hair. We got some, here, look, here, look. We're gonna do this. Boom, there we go. Let's get you out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Get out of here. All right. Jeez. That's a creepy, that's a creepy access. Like this is one of the, it comes with a lock of Thor's hair. Like I really don't even want to take it out of the packaging, but I'm going to for you guys. For you, I'm going to do this. Ah, oh, goodness. What the? Hot toys, man. What the? Come on. Mm. A, th a lock of Thor's hair we have. Does this make me worthy? I don't know. I, it's weird, right? A lock of Thor's hair? Strange. I don't even know what to say to that. Uh, this is almost as creepy as the baby Luke from the uh, Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi. You can let me know which one's more creepy. Is it the baby Luke? Or is it the lock of Thor's hair? This is like... I don't know. Let me know. Uh, let's see. We'll get you out. Let's look at the accessories first. Sam, you can hang out. We'll get this little guy right here, which is pretty much the... Uh, I'm going to chop all your hair off parts. So it looks like he, he already has one that's already like engaged. And this is the disengaged one. But you can see like the, the grips... Little scales and stuff they've got on there. That's pretty cool looking. Uh, we get some hands. I'm not expecting this to be a super long video because it honestly it's is what it is. We're not gonna go crazy dynamic. But there's our glasses. So those look pretty good. Those definitely look like they match the uh, Sakar uh, atmosphere. We got some, oh yeah. All right. So what kind of wings we got? We gotta have that. We gotta have some flipping wings. Boom. Stan Lee's gotta have those. 100 percent. Boom. Got to have those. Those are nicely done. We got a, looks like a right, ah. Oh, so that hand does come off. That's nice to know. Uh, we do have a right and a left, like just open gesturing hand, open palm hand, so there's nothing crazy going in there. We get a little shotgun pointing hand. Every one of them's got his little pinky ring on there. And then it looks like we have some grasping hands uh, on a right. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, right and left, got two of those. So that's pretty cool, we got some accessories. Let's get you guys out of here. I wanna get to the figure and uh, see what all he's got. All right, you, all right, you're out of here. You go over there with the weird hair thing. All right, now that I've got all the plastic bits off of them, check out that portrait. Dude, they nailed that, that looks fantastic. The colors look great, the costume looks great, uh, the tailoring looks, I mean, they, they did a really good job for what it was. This is not a must have figure for most people. It's just not. I mean, it's, this is not your Iron Man Mark 85, your battle damage. This is not Thor or Hela. God, if you ha don't have Hela. Oh, I'm sorry. That figure is amazing. Um, but look at this. That is absolutely gorgeous. They nailed this all the way around. Love this attachment. That's pretty sweet. And uh, down on the boots, I was just noticing this. If I can get down here. Not a whole lot of action going down on the boots, but he's got old man boots and there's not much there. Pants-wise... Just a normal brown pant. There's really not a whole, there's not a whole lot going on with this. It's not. But we do have some nice uh, double bend elbow. He just stabbed, he just cut, look, he just stabbed himself. What the hell? <laughs> he got that going on. It's, it's a nice figure. It's a good figure. This is not one I'm gonna go crazy on posing wise. I'm happy I have it. I think he did a good job. Let's throw on the, let's throw on the glasses. Let's see if we can't make that work real quick. They got little spots they're supposed to go into. Oh yeah, look at that. Here he is with the glasses. That looks great. I think with or without the glasses, either way is good. The glasses are pretty, pretty awesome actually. So I kind of dig those. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool release. Uh, I mean, it's gonna have, it's just a normal body. You can have double jointed everything. So you don't have to worry about that. There's no gonna be any issues with articulation, I don't think. Although some of the poses, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, literally, he will do that, so there's clearly no issues with, with that. Um, I do like like the paint apps they've got going on here, like this rust multicolored paint they've got going on here, different layers of paint you can see right there. I do like that very much. The belt looks good. Uh, this looks like it just switches out. That's just a switch out, if you want to see there. Boom. Imagine that coming at you, trying to cut your hair. 
that would be crazy. Uh, so you can actually change this out. Boom, right there. Single claw right there. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool release, but I think we're gonna need some other supporting characters in order to really get the effect of this guy. So let's go make that happen. All right, so guys, I broke out my Gladiator Thor because honestly, I don't know how else you would display Stanley. I've got some ideas, but this is the most obvious one. If I had the Roadworn Thor, I probably would, would use that. Uh, but honestly, like I said earlier, the Gladiator Thor is by far uh, my favorite. But yeah, it's just thing uh, is super freaking cool. And as a display piece, I dig it. It's, it's not like an essential piece, but as a scene or as a display piece, I think it's pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll kind of go in a little closer here and try to take a look at Stan, but you can see right there, the detail is on point. I think the sculpt is on point. Uh, I think the, the portrait's fantastic. And he's all happy about it. Thor, on the other hand, is not, he's not so thrilled. He is not so thrilled, but uh, old Stan up there, he's all, uh, he's all like, yeah, look what I did. <laughs> so, you know, I dig this. I think it's a pretty cool piece. Now, I told you earlier in the video, at the beginning of the video, that there might be a reason to stick around. And the reason for that is my friends over at Collector's Own, if you guys know Marcos, amazing, amazing shop. And it has hot toys, statues, uh, art prints, all kinds of crazy stuff out there. He has decided that he would like to give back to the community and we're gonna partner together on this thing. We're gonna be giving away, you guessed it, we're gonna be giving away a Hot Toys Stanley. This one right here I just unboxed. Actually, well, not this one, you're gonna get a new one. Uh, but this version of Stanley, you're gonna get. And so here's, what, here's the deal. I've got a contest link in the description below and all you've gotta do is just follow the link and do the things. This is open to the United States. Collector's own ships within the United States. If you're outside of the United States, I'm sorry you cannot participate in this particular giveaway. Uh, but, you know, there's other stuff going on the channel uh, for you guys who are overseas. By the way, if you're a Patreon member, uh, that would that would be you. Um, check out that check out that hand. That's crazy. Uh, so a couple things you're gonna have to do if you want to enter the give the, uh, the giveaway for this guy. Uh, one, obviously, follow the link down below. It will give, uh, give you a couple things to do. One of them is gonna be follow Collector's Own on Instagram. Obviously, you gotta be subscribed to my channel. You should subscribe to their channel as well and join their Facebook group. The Collector's Own Cantina is a great place to be. Now, he typically has all kinds of crazy deals going on in that group, and uh, those are typically the first people to find out uh, about those deals. Dude, those two together just look, they just look fantastic, right? So uh, thank you to Marcos for being amazing. Guys, if you uh, get anything from Collector's Own, we do have discount code over there. Patrol at discount will save you 5%. The prices you see on their website are the prices shipped. There's no additional fees. There's no taxes. There's no shipping. That, that is the price. So if you see the prices and you think, oh, it's a little higher than some other places, not really. Not really, all right? They're the out-the-door prices for you guys, and you don't have to worry about any extra hidden fees or anything. And uh, thank you, Marcos, for uh, providing this giveaway, because it is awesome. And I have a follow-up video specifically theme for Thor Ragnarok coming up next on the channel. So stay tuned for that, because it's gonna be, it's gonna include Stan here. It's gonna include Stan, it's gonna include Thor, and some other characters that you may love. So as always, guys, collect what you like. We'll see you next time. Yeah.